In this video, we are going to see how to create Jira issues with new Notion database items. So here we know that Notion is a note taking platform. And now here every time a new database item is created with the information that you have received, you want to create an issue in Jira software, which is a project management software. Now, how can that be done? For this, you will have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Notion and your action application would be Jira software. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options sign in and sign up for free so if you are an existing user simply click on sign in if you are the new user click on this tab sign up it won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation you will get 100 free tasks so now i'm going to click on sign in as i'm an existing user here and here we have reached all applications page let's click on access now for public connect now, as we do that, here we have reached the dashboard of this application. Again, on the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. Now, here my objective is that every time a new database item is created in Notion, then automatically with the information received, I have to create a Jira issue for a particular project that I'm working on. So I'm going to name it as create Jira issues with new Notion database items. I'm going to click on create now. So as I do that here, we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger. Another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles are concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens an action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now in this particular integration, what is my objective? Let me show you. So this is my Jira account. And here you can see that I already have created a few pages. You can create your own page by clicking on this plus icon. The name of the page created here is technical issues. And here I am going to work on one particular project that is already created in Jira. So this is Pabli Connect project. And here, what is the issue? The API is not working. The summary is same description is that a team meeting has to be done. And what is the due date? This is the due date. Now, what is the label? So here my problem is with API. So I have named it as API. Now, this is my Jira account. And here I am working on this particular project, which is Pabli Connect project. So I want every time a new database item is created in Notion, what should happen automatically. So in this particular project, Pabli Connect project, this issue should be created and which is going to be taken care by one particular person. So I'm going to assign it to one particular person. Let me go back to Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to look for Notion. This is going to be my trigger application. Let's click on this. Now the trigger event here would be new database item. Here on the right hand side, you can see it is written. This trigger will check for new data in every eight hours, which basically means that this trigger application has a polling time of eight hours. So the workflow is going to run after every eight hours to fetch for new data. Now I'm going to click on connect. And as I do that here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Notions account. So I'm going to click on add new connection, connect with Notion. And now, since I've already logged into my Notion account, here it is asking me for the access to this Pabli Connect workspace that I have created in Notion. So let's click on select pages. I'm selecting all the pages, allow access. And here you can see that the authorization has been successful. Now here we have to select the database ID. So here I'm going to work on this particular page, which is technical issues. So let me search for this. I'm going to refresh this. And here we have technical issues. Now, as I click on save and send test request, so the last details that I've filled in there, I have received here. So here you can see what is the summary. It is API stopped working. Then this is the summary again. And here it is related to Pabli Connect project. Then as I take you down again, so here you can see what is the issue type. API is not working. And then we have the due date, which is 15th of February. Now, what is the description team meeting is to be done. So once we have received this information, what is my objective? I want to create a Jira issue. So my action application here would be Jira software. Let's click on this. 
and now the action event here would be to create an issue let's click on connect again public connect is asking to connect itself with the jira software account let's click on add new connection connect with jira software i've already logged into my jira account so here you can see that public connect is requesting access to my atlassian account basically jira software so i'm going to select the site and then accept so as i do that here you can see that the authorization has been successful so once this is done now here we have to map this information the base url project issue type summary description etc so first of all the base url has already been selected by the system now comes the project so here which project am i working on so i'm working on public connect project so i've selected the same now comes the issue type so what is my issue there is a bug right there is a bug api is not working then we have the summary so i'm going to map this information how as i click on this so it is showing me the previous step and here when i click on summary so here you can see api stopped working this is how we map now why is mapping important so that every time the workflow runs it is not stuck with the manually written data and if i map it here then what will happen it will be able to take the new data into consideration otherwise if i had written api stop working manually then every time for even a new workflow it would have taken the api stopped working summary only now comes the description so again i'm going to map this so the description here is team meeting to be done then we have the priority so let's say it is a medium priority job now comes the label again i'm going to map the same so the label here is api then we have the assignee's id so i am assigning all the bugs or all the issues which are created for this particular project to pably apps okay so this is the assignee id now comes the reporter id now for this reporter id what do i want i want the id of this pably apps so here also i could have mapped the same now from where can we get this id let me show you so let me take you to my jira account and here the people search for people so i want all the tasks to be allotted to this particular person pably apps and here you can see this here is the reporter's id and i'm going to paste the same over here okay so once we have done that now comes the due date which is supposed to be written in year month and date format so let me check the date so here is the date and it is exactly in the month year month and date format then we have the original estimate and remaining estimate so this is what you can fill in later line item components id so here it is written select or enter components id you can get components id from get project components action so you can do the same as of now i'm going to leave this blank now let's click on save and send test request so as soon as i do that here you can see that we have received a response where our id has been given then this is the key i'm going to copy this go back to jira and here i'm going to go to projects let's go to public connect project and here you can see that this particular issue has been created which is pcp 106 the description is team meeting to be done and then again here we have the rest of the information this is the due date priority etc this basically means that our integration process is a success now i'm taking you back to public connect here we are not going to check this in real time as the trigger application has got a polling time of 8 hours but this is how the integration is going to take place i hope this is absolutely clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description you can also clone the same and start to process immediately apart from this if you have any specific integration to work on you can always write to us not only this but you can integrate multiple applications using public connect software to ask any of your query you have to write at forum.pably.com you can also visit our website which is www.pably.com/connect to get all the details about the latest updates the integrations and applications you can visit our facebook group If in case you have found this video helpful then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.